is on pace for another top 10 warmest year on record. As Nick explains, there's evidence to show extreme weather is a symptom of a changing climate. In Germany, fish are dying. In Switzerland, cows are having water airlifted in. And in southern Australia, one of the worst droughts in history during their winter. This is certainly uncharted waters. It's not a, a record that we're happy about. This year's weather is drawing new attention to climate change. And worldwide, the past four years have been the hottest ever recorded. Last year, boosted by an El Nino. And it's only been one year since President Trump withdrew from the Paris Agreement on climate change. The Paris Accord would undermine our economy, hamstring our workers, weaken our sovereignty. Politics aside, there is scientific consensus that human activity is causing the Earth to warm. And this recent weather is a symptom of that problem. This year will obviously go down in the record books. Um, as, as a ravaging summer of, of heat, the earth seems like it's literally on fire. Professor Kim Cobb at Georgia Tech has spent her career measuring the effects of climate change on coral reefs. She says these symptoms during the past few summers have surprised some scientists. This is a world that I personally thought maybe 10 or more years off. And it's not that I didn't know that this kind of thing wasn't coming. It's just that I think it was going to come right now. And so it, it is a shock. It is a shock, frankly. I really thought we had more time. Without a change in human behaviors, Cobb expects to see the Earth's climate to get even warmer. Nick, there is a, a lot of skepticism about uh, climate change. And one of the things that's brought up is that when we say hottest year on record, you know, the records go back, what, a couple of hundred years or less. And science tells us that the planet is, what, four and a half billion years old. So how much do we really know about the climate of the Earth? Well, you know, you can go back and you can actually look at the oxygen and isotopic record if you really want to get your, you know, elbows deep into this <laughs> stuff. And, and you can make the, the comparison between O18 and O16 right. isotopes. And that actually goes back a, a couple of 100,000 years, uh, saying that it is... Uh, warmer to a specific degree at this point versus 100,000 years ago on that isotopic record. Y you can't do, but you can graph all those numbers and say that to some degree, not a specific number, but to some degree it is warmer or cooler than it used to be. Do you think the, the media in general uh, get a little bit too um, excited about weather events uh, proving or disproving uh, climate Yes, change. yeah, I, I really do. I, you guys know me. I'm not a big hype person. Um, no. I, I like facts. Um, facts say that, yes, our climate is changing. Um, facts say that you know, we're probably to blame. Um, but, you know, people want to want to say, oh, it, it has to do with this and it has to do with that. I, I've got a couple graphics. If we can go to weather two real quick. Uh, so here's the line of, of Hattiesburg heat since 1950. That's a yeah. pretty flat line. Yeah. Um, you know, so, you know, people say, okay, well, it's getting hotter everywhere. Well, it's not. It's like when you get a cold. You know, like, you may get a stuffy nose when it's a cold. I may mm -hmm. get a cough. There's different symptoms. So for us, down here, we don't have the extreme heat. We get these warmer kind of overnight events where it's a little warmer overnight. Thus, mm -hmm. we have to use the air conditioning a little bit more. Right which costs us more money. Are, are we all going to die from this? Well, no, it's just going to cost us more money. Where this may hurt us is mosquitoes are more, more prone to bite people between, we talked about this the other night, between like 79 and 84 degrees. Right. Well, if we've got more 79 to 84 degree days, yeah. you're just a little more likely to get bit by a mosquito that may have a disease. Okay, are we all going to die from this? No, we're not all going to die from this. <laughs> right, and so the biggest problem we have from this, though, Steve, and, yeah. and folks at home, is uh, I hear for this from a lot of people, and this is a this is a fact. It rains more here when it rains now uh, than it did before. That's uh, our biggest problem here in it. South Mississippi. I, for one, welcome our new mosquito overlords. Yeah, right. <laughs> we'll be right back after the break. <laughs> 